Welcome to Devotional Daily. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. Today is June 22. Our title is, To Whom Much is Forgiven, Part 1. And behold, a woman in the city who was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at the table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of fragrant oil. Luke 7, 37. The story of the woman at Jesus' feet in Luke 7 is extraordinarily moving. Jesus had been invited to dine at the house of a Pharisee. For the Pharisees, holiness was primarily a matter of physical separation from sin and sinners, solely an issue of external behavior. A sinner from the city wished to pay her tribute to the Lord. Her desire outweighed her fear of what others would think. Scorn and criticism would be the great price she would pay. And so, taking advantage of the social custom of the time, she comes to the banquet, but remains in the periphery of the party, just as part of the audience. Ancient Near Eastern hospitality required a few things from the host, a welcome kiss to the guest, that his feet be washed by a servant, and that his head be anointed with oil, symbols of friendship, recognition, respect, and acceptance. The Pharisee's neglect is acute. Could this be his manifesto of disdain for Jesus, hidden in the formality of the invitation? Perhaps. The woman in the story then enters the picture and exceeds in her demonstration of love and service. Likely, she had already experienced the touch of grace and healing from Jesus. At the feet of the enigmatic rabbi, she anoints them with uncontrollable tears and perfume, covering them with kisses. The entire scene is spontaneous, nothing that could have been planned in advance. Without a towel, flustered, she dries the Lord's feet with her own hair. Imagine the scene. Indifferent to social etiquettes, she uses her own hair, the most glorious part of her body according to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 15, to wipe the least dignified part, the feet. However, the extraordinary part of the story is Jesus' attitude, which rises above any religious taboo or prejudice. His freedom is staggering. His acceptance of the embarrassing offering is surprisingly beautiful. His question to the Pharisee, judging him, is at the level of the sublime. Do you see this woman? Stiff in his formalism, Simon the Pharisee could not really see the person. Jesus transcends Pharisaic religion, not allowing the idolatry of forms to destroy the opportunity to reveal what God is like in his infinite grace.